Four months ago, I lost my husband, Ross, to a rare form of brain cancer. Ross was my best friend, my soulmate, my pal, my partner in crime, and he was an amazing dad to my two girls. My girls are my absolute world. Do you think we will go and see Father Christmas this year? Yes. No. Okay. Will you help me put some Christmas, Christmas decorations on the tree? Yeah. Yeah. Knowing that this will be an emotional time is is challenging and I know that I have to find a way for them to get through this. With Christmas just over a week away and my first without Ross by my side, I want to know how to cope during what is usually a special time for families. I'm meeting women from the Widowed and Young charity, a network for widowed people under the age of 50. The charity estimate there are 100,000 widows in this age group out there, meaning I'm not alone. My husband Duncan died four and a half years ago from an inherited heart condition when my children were five and three. He went to play football, aged 39, and didn't come home. My husband died five and a half years ago from adrenal cancer, leaving me with our three children, ages one, six and 13. My husband and I had our daughter in the February of 2015 and eight weeks later he was diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumour and he died in the September of the same year. Our daughter was seven months old. This is going to be my first Christmas without Ross. I wanted to kind of pick your brains and, and see how you ladies had dealt with things. I can remember very little of that whole first year, to be honest, because I went into overdrive mm -hmm. and just got on with doing as much as I could. My children loved the aspect of Christmas having all their family around. They had people who wanted to sit down and spend time with them and tell them stories about their daddy. I just was determined to have my family around me and that support, I think, actually was putting things in yeah. place for me. Yeah. Um, so that I could then be there for her. In fact, my boys on that first Christmas sat there and said, Mum, this is the best Christmas ever, because everybody <laughs> had completely overcompensated <laughs> and the mound of presents was just ridiculous. For me, it was very overwhelming to hear them yeah. say that, because for me, it was the worst Christmas ever. Was there anything that you put in place for the children? Like, there was, was there something that you did or any... I guess new traditions. New traditions I think is yeah. a really key thing of, of remembering the past but having making it your own as well. I'm quite independent yeah and but then I think it's those times when you can feel lonely. You can be very lonely around a lot of people as yeah, well so coming up to Christmas I'm always mindful of who I have around me. Yeah. People wanted us to go and stay but mm. I wasn't quite ready to go and stay somewhere else yeah. and we liked waking up on Christmas Day in our own home. Have things got easier? It's not just the first Christmas, no. it's every Christmas they're going to miss their parent, you're yeah. going to miss your partner. Just, yeah. just do what feels right, there's no right way or wrong way yeah. with grief.